Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. In this video we are going to be taking a tour of my Animal Crossing New Leaf Town on Citra Emulator. Now I don't have the game on my regular 3DS because unfortunately the eShop closed down so I decided to get out on computer instead. And here I can record it for you. Now here's some things about this town. I spent 40 hours around uh, making it up and it was a fun time and I time traveled. I know some of you in the community might not like it but I did time travel to make it and uh, that helped me get some stores and uh, things open. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so we are going to start off at my house. So this house is not that very upgraded. I only have one room, but it, the room itself has been fully upgraded. So in this room we have two globes. Oh, gotta kill this cockroach. Die. Oh. Good. Okay, so uh, here we got a Triforce. Very nice. And a Koopa Shell. Now you get these items from lottery tickets, which you buy in Nook's Cranny. And you can get a bunch of them, and they're really cool. Um, over here we got a vanity or mirror and some swords. I have two beds, which is weird, but yeah, I have two beds. I got a guitar. Very nice. Um, over here we got a wardrobe. Just has a bunch of storage items. Nothing very exciting. And then in this radio we only have KK Jazz. I know, very exciting. Over here, we have a ro two rocks, one rock up here, and another rock down here. Let me say hi to Elmer. Hi, Elmer. Oh, don't be like that, Elmer. We totally talked before. Anyways, uh, since it's a uh, Winter, we're gonna find some snowballs around the island. Recently, I got this yield sign up. It was my most recent building project. So that's cool. We got this uh, row of orange trees along the river. So let's get these weeds out of the way. I haven't played in a little bit of time. So they will be popping up around the island. So we got this bridge across the river. I, I like the location. Uh, Claudia, hello. Oh, Claudia lives in the house right over here with a rock and another weed. <laughs> here is the campsite with a bunch of trees, which with fruits I don't even know the name of. Over here we got another long passage of orange trees that goes along the river. And whose house is this? This is Avery's house, and next to his house in the backyard, oh, you're an NPC, um, is a shrine. Along here is a little path, with, I'll show you that later. I believe that's Avery over there. So, over here, a new house is being made for Flo. And back here is a, <laughs> before Flo's house, uh, this uh, bench looks so much better, but now, now it doesn't. Whose house is this? This is Nibble's house, so that's a good location. Up here we have Brewster's Cafe. You unlock that after upgrading the museum to its entirety, so that took a while. Over here we have a big cliff, and I like this cliff because it's home to a perfect pear tree. Sorry, perfect orange tree. And uh, these are really hard to attain, so I planted it right there on the cliff, and it looks pretty cool. Up here we have another bench, the first bench. Over here in the side beach, or I'll just show you this beach. All I really did to the beach is planted a few coconut trees. Just because you don't really have many capabilities with your beach and new leaf. Or really anywhere, but especially the beach. Whose house is this? This is Fauna's. Now, Something about Fauna 
is that Fauna is actually a villager of mine in my New Horizons town. And Flip, whose house is over here, was one of... Sorry, not Soleil. Um, Flip, whose house is this, was one of my two first uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons villagers. And I also have him as one of my first villagers in my New Leaf town. Over here is the junkyard for junk. But it's only for decoration. I'm not going to actually pick up those items ever again. Over here is the town hall. And something, a theme with this town is that it's called America. So you got the American flag, you got the Texan American drip, and you got the office also kind of looks American. So it's just funny. But yeah, that's the town name. Over here, we got the main uh, tree. I think we started here, but... Yeah, the main tree, very nice. Not really anything back here behind the um, town hall office. Over here to the sign, we got a rock and a do not um, enter sign, because if you enter my island without uh, permission, you will be yeeted off a cliff. I'm joking. Um... Yeah, and then we if we head over here in this very, very nice path, that's totally not horrible. Uh, fire hydrant, very nice. Over here is my favorite part of the island, where in this corner area... I'm kidding, it's not that street sign. It's this fountain right here. Um, this fountain is just very nice because it's in the middle of a square surrounded by trees, and... This street light is a very nice view. That's thumbnail worthy. Anyways, that's the main town. Let's head over to Main Street. Over here in Main Street, I have almost all the shops. Hello, um, Soleil, right? No, you're Clay. Clay was a former villager of mine. So over here, we got the post office, Nook's Homes, Club LOL. And the photo area. Now the only two um, shops I don't have is this one, which I forgot what it was. And then this is the dream suite, which you can't use. Along with the, uh, not street pass, spot pass area over here because this is Citril Emulator. Over here we got TIY, which is, I believe, the second to last uh, renovation for um, Nook's Cranny. Over here, you got the Barber Shop, Able Sisters, and LaBelle. And Kicks. We're gonna end at the museum right here. We're in the museum. I'm going to give you a brief, brief, just tell you what's in each uh, exhibit. So, over here in the dinosaur exhibit, we got, I think I have 80, 85% of all fossils, I'd say. Yeah. But I got most of the dinosaur uh, fossils and I believe all of the minor fossils, if I'm not... Okay. All of them except for one. This one right here. Like, yeah. The fossil section is the most completed section of my town. However... Oops. However... In the fish and bug sections, I only have a few fish and bugs, so I have like 20 of each, but that's it. Now, the most exciting part of the museum, I'd say, is totally the art museum. Look, we have only one portrait in this entire art exhibit. Just one portrait, and the reason behind that is because they are so... Flipping hard to obtain. Like, so, so hard. Like, Red, you get them from Red, like, he will always send you fakes. So I have, like, 20 fakes. Hello, bladders. So we're gonna go up here to the, um, to Celeste area, which you get from the museum expansion for completing requirements. So over here, you can buy some sulfur tools and astrology stuff. And 
here are extra rooms for storage and such. Now I only have these two filled in, but in them is pretty cool stuff. Over here, I got a lot of di a lot of gyroids, like I believe 35-ish of them. And yeah, I just have a big gyroid collection because they're fun to get, and I think they're the best in this game. Because New Horizons, I came just too late. So yeah, that's a lot of gyroids. Cool stuff. And second over here is my huge crystal collection. Let's do the math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 8, 56 minus 1 is 55. Yeah, 55 uh, crystals. I could sell all of these for probably a lot of money, all these emeralds, amethysts, and diamonds and gold, but I just like collecting them for the sake of collecting. I'm going to stand next to Clay here for the end of the tour, so for the final bit of the tour, I'll just show you some of the reactions we got. We got thinking, bold, admiring, angry, happiness, which is a classic, and then COVID. <laughs> so yeah, those are some of my reactions. Well, all of my reactions. There's 40 total, and I have um, 25. So yeah, that's cool. Alright, that's going to end the tour section of this video.